Check out this little roadster. This is gorgeous. If you can't spot it, don't worry about it. It's a Templar. Templar Motors Corporation. You can see on the motor meter. This is just absolutely... This is why I love Hershey. Too bad we didn't have it. It's a tight little roadster. Look at the step plates. Obviously a quality machine. It does have doors, cutaway doors. It's got a regular sliding transmission. It's got a fat man steering wheel because he won't be able to get into it any other way. I like the little bar back there. Dual spares in the rear. Side door, of course. I'll be putting in information about the Templar. I think it's a 19. I'm not sure. I want to check out even these tires are huge. As usual, the wheels were quite big. I know someone asked me at one point what the sizes were. Uh, let's see, silver cord. I'm looking right now. 32 by 4. There we go, 32 by 4. Look at the size of those rear brakes. Internal expanding, which is quite unusual. Very big for the era. This is beautiful. Of course, no front brakes. Leaf springs all the way around. Again, the Templar. We will check out more about this car. I will look. Knights Templar organization started uh, building the cars, or the group of the guys that were in the uh, organization of the Knights of Templar. Knight, like Knights of Columbus, Knights of Templar. Yes, yes, yes. They, they built uh, the cars. Oh, really? Some yeah. people just so drink the, uh, beer. I guess they built cars. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. was kind of cool. Back in the old days, it was the that's why it was they're mounted on a horse in the it's you know, from yeah. the from the ordership of the Knights. What year is she? Nineteen. This is nineteen nineteen. Very nice. Now, how expensive was this car when it was new? This was uh, just a little under three thousand dollars. That's a lot of a money. A lot of money in nineteen nineteen. A lot of money. When you could buy a bunch of Model T's for that. Oh you my know, gosh! Yeah, you know, two hundred fifty dollars for a Model T, and you know. yeah, just uh, no. At that point, it's four hundred ninety dollars mm -hmm. because that's what uh, Chevy did. Was yeah, the four ninety? Yeah, the four ninety. Yeah. So walking right in. Yeah. Now yeah, what's under the hood? Yeah. yeah. Really a detail engine, right? No, it's overhead valve. Oh, it's overhead. Yeah. Wow, look at that. Man. Look at yeah. that. Beautiful. Beautiful. My gosh, what a long stroke that is. Yeah. Gee. A lot of torque. Yeah, a lot of torque. Do you know any yeah. specs on it? Uh, I can't think of right off my bat. Uh, mm. I think it's a three and a half inch. Four right and a uh, seven inch stroke. Oh my gosh, that's crazy! Yeah, now you take a Stets Barricat and they, mm -hmm. they, they had an 11 and a half inch stroke. Yeah. Wow, and, and that and they were over yeah. four inch more, yeah. <laughs> they were huge oh, motors, fantastic. and that's what they were trying to compete with. But you know, they were just weren't quite the up to that speed, but you know, the cast uh, the aluminum block it's or the all aluminum. Yeah, yeah. Lot, they use a lot of aluminum. Even the, the body case. is aluminum too. Yeah, right? this is all aluminum. Oh this here part, the fenders are steel. Yeah, so you've got the alu uh, cast aluminum cast uh, aluminum uh, case and, and the then the uh, steel and then the, the steel jug and the right. head. Wow. Oh so that is a separate head. With the nice. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, they, so they uh, probably took the old defenders off. Yeah, the, well, the first Templars were made look like the old Stutz Barricats. Oh, yeah, with that demonical oh, yeah, windshield yeah, yeah, yeah. that the very yeah. first ones they made, and I don't know if any of that's still around. I mean, they, yeah, they all. I've never seen one of those. Uh, yeah, they, I've never seen a Templar. I know we're, we've got four uh, Templars, and uh, a guy up in, up in Cleveland owns the factory. He has yeah. 11 or 12 of them now. Oh, wow. How and many were made, produced? So 7,000. 7,000. Yeah. Over what years? Uh, from 1917 to 1924.
Oh, okay. So they did last. They even got through the uh, yeah, depression. Yeah, well, the war, but the World War One, they didn't build anything. Right. For, you know, so they started for the back duration. up in 1919. Okay. Yeah. That's surprising. It got through 21, but they couldn't go any yeah, further. They, they, by that time, they, you know, they started having money trouble because they, they were an expensive car and they weren't selling yeah. enough of them. And yeah. They were the first car to come out. Uh, that we have a 1920 that right. has front wheel brakes. That's the first car to have factory made front wheel brakes. Oh, really? Yeah. Where are Templars from? Cleveland, Ohio. Really? Yeah. I don't know. Factory still stands. Hi, there. very good. What year is this? This is 1919. Very I, advanced for its time. Right. Yeah. Yeah, it's got an air compressor built onto the transmission where you get air for tires and I carried it wow. in my trailer that John Bradley had me from down to Hershey about This is great. In some trade. Huh. I should have gone. Yeah. I like your locking of mission. Locking of mission, fat man steering wheel. Yeah. It has got the fat man steering wheel, which is rubber. Yep. You can tilt it to get your belly in <laughs> which is yes handy. <laughs> you did that yeah well nothing moves over here is that a four speed or three speed it's three speed very good i like the way how they have the templar up on yeah, top yeah they had to the cross there yeah and then in the uh in 1920 they put the knob for the cow vent uh -huh. cow, in 20 cow vents were that was first year for a cow vent and a templar right. And then the knob has the Maltese cross on it. Oh, that's too cool. Yeah, so. That is too cool. I like your windshield wipers, by the yeah. way. Manual <laughs> yeah, windshield yeah. wipers. Yeah, it probably didn't do a lot of good if you were a damn boarder in it anyway. <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> kinda... I can't believe the size of the rear brakes are huge. Yeah, that's the only thing you got for brakes, too, though. So. <laughs> yeah, well, you also have the transmission <laughs> brake. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But yeah, it just locks up the rear wheels again, so. Yeah, but that's still very big. This is gorgeous. And the rear half is aluminum, huh? Yeah. Front half is steel. And they made their own motors and everything. Motors, yeah. Wow. They bought their transmission and the rear ends. That's the only thing they bought. Who designed the car, do you know? I, I don't know if it was uh, somebody in-house or what. But yeah, we always liked you know, the dual inset rear spare tires and stuff. That what back a area. sweet car. Jeez. Now, where did you find her? This was... Uh, up in New Palestine, Indiana, it was up in uh, right outside Indianapolis. Uh huh. And we knew about it for years because uh, the guy we bought a twenty, and he had some of the parts for the twenty. Right. That he was borrowing from making. Uh, he had the splash gas tank cover and stuff like that. He was making copies of it. Uh huh. And then he took the car apart. I was about six years old when we first seen this one, and he was working on it, and the body was upon on saw horses. Right. And he had the car apart. And I remember looking at the interior thinking, what, what, that's, leather is just really funny looking. Well, it was ostrich leather. Oh, really? Yeah. And, and when we finally, the guy died, and years later we had, you know, at, at the family sewed off his cars and stuff. We went up there, and it was still all apart, but the body was stripped off the paint and that. And we bought the car, and Dad finally started restoring the car. He called me one day, he goes, hey, Come here, look at this. So I went down there, and the leather, the interior was all done, removed and gone. Yeah. But the guy spray painted the chassis spray cans. Right, yeah. I mean, he just was an amateur doing it, and Dad was stripping paint off and goes, look at these springs in the rear end. Uh, they were all nickel plated. Really? The springs were nickel, the axle tubes were nickel, the dry shaft was nickel plated, the front axle was nickel plated. And it was like, and so he, we started checking around with people that knew about the car. Yeah. And they said, well, that's why this one's got a bench seat. It was Fatty Arbuckle's car. And, that, and it's got two doors. All the other Templars, the other ones, the roasters all have bucket seats in front. And no There's wonder you have a fat man steering yeah, wheel for yeah, and, uh, and it has Arbuckle. doors, and other ones don't have doors. This so, must be a fast car. It, it was, it's fairly quick for the yeah. day in 1919. Yeah. But it... This was but Fatty Arbuckle. we can't Arbuckle. come up with documentation and oh. proof that he owned it, so we had to put it back, you know, kind of the way the factory would yeah. have done a standard yeah. car. Yeah, yeah. Now, these springs are nickel-plated? They originally were, yeah. Or okay. When, you know, it's, so that's why they look so, they're fresh, they were plated, and the car was in fat, wow. fabulous shape underneath and the body and stuff. But, uh, yeah, because the other car we have you know, was the Cannonball car. 
which a cannibal baker drove across country. Oh, oh really? Was, yeah, was, and set the records in it. And it was a little rougher, but it was a part when we got it. And what year is that Templar? It's a 20. A 20? Yeah. Jeez. Now, was he paid to do it from yeah, the Templar factory? Paid, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he paid, and he did it for several years. He And they called the, the car, when you've seen it, the car now looks like this one. It's a... But, the car when he first drove it across country it had can't say it's a touring body it's just a body yeah it's a cow and that's just yeah. kind of hand and there's no seat in rear seats in it they just put <laughs> spare stuff in the back yeah. seat. the speedster and, yeah and they just used it to, and there's no yeah. fenders on it and stuff and yeah. supposedly when they got done after the runs and that they used it for promotion so they put a body on it and stuff and yeah Wow. And the, the, actually, the army used it as a recruiting device too. They call it, the, and it had actually for a while it had painted down the side of the recruiter. Huh. <laughs> and, that, and then the, had, we got the original wheels, the rims, because they were disc rims on the originally, huh. and they had a big swastika uh -huh. on the, or the Maltese cross, yes. that's what they got, the Maltese cross yeah. on the uh, wheels painted on them, and that. Yeah. And, and then after were one they kind of took them all off because yeah know, the, the iron Germany, cross yeah that, that everybody associated that yes. art that iron cross with germany yes. yes which it wasn't really any, no. even the you know the swastika is a native indian symbol oh that goes way back yeah it goes, it goes way back yeah yeah. So, yeah 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 so yeah the germans just kind of took over it yeah. and, and then kind of ruined it for everybody yeah. in a way yeah. so now it has bad place <laughs> yeah. oh that's for sure <laughs> yeah <laughs> Now, what do you like most about what what attracted you to Templar? What do you like best about the car? Uh, it's just it's fun to drive, and it's just uh, unusual. Me being, you know, rare. Not you don't see them every day. Uh, no. <laughs> most people don't never heard of one. You know, and uh, nowadays, me people hear about the Templar, you know, Knights Templar and Oak Island and all that stuff. Yeah. Right? So they start, you know, but they don't link the two that they actually somebody actually made a car. Now, I like your t-shirt with the uh, super fine small yeah. car. Yeah, that's what, the, that was their logo, super, you know, they started using that because the studs and that were a bigger car. Yes. And that, so they went with a super fine small car. I yeah. like that. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> thank you for the information. Uh, oh, thank gosh, you. thank you. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, yeah beautiful. We'll see. Take care. This is wonderful. What a treat. Jeez. Again, this is Pam from Northeast Wheels Events.com at the Eastern Nationals. Well, actually, it's not the Eastern Nationals, the Eastern Fall Meet. The AACA over here in Gettysburg. Check out this 1919 Templar. Yeah, if you want to go golfing, you can have your golf bag door. Oh, of course. <laughs> Fits right in. <laughs> For more fuller events like this, make sure you check. NortheastWheelsEvents.com Come on, girl. Southeast Wheels Events. And UK Wheels Events. Oh, it's yeah. It's been sitting here since then. There we go. Let her warm up for a bit. <laughs> this is early motoring, folks. Remember when we used to have to warm up cars and stuff? Get the choke set just right. There she is. There she is. You can smell the gas. She's running rich. This is fantastic. Fantastic. Again, 1919 Templar. Work that power steering! Yeah! Firefighter! 
I'll see you at the shows.